Hyper G here, and I'm very excited, barely containing excitement, because I have been sent a little box from our very own PTG Gobbo as a little bit of a present for well, welcoming him to the channel, basically. And what better way for him to show off his skills than by me doing an unboxing? Now, I only have a very small idea of what's inside this. And I do know I've got to be extremely, extremely careful. Um, he has told me that they are very well wrapped. Um, I don't doubt that. Obviously, I'm being extremely careful, especially as I'm on camera. So that looks like that's just packaging. But we're going to check these out as we go into them. So open this up first. Okay, got to be very careful. Probably not being careful enough for PTG Gobbo's liking. Let's, let's open this up here. And there's a couple more packages in there, which is even more exciting. Do have to be very careful. I'd rather be too careful than not. Here we go, can we see what I am opening up to here? Oh wow, look at this! Wow! I mean, this is quite something, isn't it? Check that out. I'm not sure whether this was attached somewhere or not. It might have been removed for the travelling, posting. We will talk to PTG Gobbo about that and check out the detail on this. This is an amazing Goblin Wolf Chariot, for those who haven't already worked that out. And before I go into more detail, I'm going to have a little look at the other two. Well, I believe I am lucky enough that PTG Gobbo has sent a whole unit of these wonderful things. So keep checking that one out while I get into the next. Because, I mean, what a week we're having on PTG, welcoming in PTG Gobbo to the clan. And you guys are in for a lot of treats by having him show off, show off his skills, show you guys how to do what he does. I mean, he is absolutely so talented. We've been able to see that with his early videos already. And here is another one. Extra bit as well. And check out how amazing these models are. I mean, they are going to be literally the centerpiece of my Orphan Goblin army. Rightly so, because I do not have anything painted to this standard. I could never get anywhere near to it myself. Hopefully, of course, with the hints and tips that he is showing you in the videos. You guys, who are much more talented than me to begin with at painting, will be able to use the skills that he's showing to do this kind of painting for yourselves. And I mean, wow, this stuff is, this, these are incredible. They are absolutely incredible. I can get into this last one, but uh, get in there, get in there. I mean, the amount of detail that is on these models is absolutely phenomenal. And look at that one. Totally different. They're totally custom built. So these is, you know, these are all parts that PTG Gobbo has put together into making these. You will not find another unit of Goblin Wolf chariots like these because they are completely designed, painted, created by PTG Gobbo. It's just the kind of skills that he has. And I cannot wait to get these guys in battle and see them die in turn one. <laughs> yeah, so what I believe, and PTG Gobbo will be able to tell us more because we'll be talking to him more about these models. Uh, these guys actually are resemblant of the Goblin's Grotto. The Goblin's Grotto boys. I'll need to find out exactly which one is which because I wasn't paying enough attention when PTG Gobbo told me about them to begin with. But wow, what wonderful models these are and how excited am I to be and lucky enough to be receiving them. So massive thank you to PTG Gobbo, you're a legend. 
and I cannot wait to see more of your videos on the channel, as I imagine so many of the other viewers can. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Comment on how amazing these models are. They really are fantastic and I cannot wait to see more of what PTG Gobbo brings to the channel. Hello Proxy Table Gaming peoples! You just saw the most excited little child video of me unboxing some goblin wolf chariots. And we're here with PTG Gobbo and Lucky Sixes and me, Hyper G. Thank Give you, PTG Gobbo. What an amazing little gift that you have sent my way. I'm glad they arrived in one piece. Well, <laughs> one piece or thereabouts, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that video that you've just seen is me unboxing them um, as carefully as I was able to. Uh, do you think they were broken before I got involved? Or do you think it was me? <laughs> I think it was probably the, the, the postal service. Yeah. To... Good That's answer. Time. Good answer. Good answer. You know, don't, don't throw the guilt my way. Good idea. So, yeah, I have them here, which I'm going to kind of be looking at. But what you can see actually on your screens is better pictures of... Yeah, close-ups. Close up yeah, because you don't really any any looking at these you do is with my ugly face in the background, so you don't really want that. Uh, so look at the proper pictures that yes. you got over got showing. Um, but yeah, these are quite incredible. They really are. And I mean, uh, how long did these take you to make? Um, spent a couple of hours um, over the course of a week. Um, in the evenings, just building them. Um, raiding the bits box just finding anything that i could that would potentially be used for a scrap wagon really yeah because yeah. we we should say these aren't regular chariots are they no they're completely kit bashed yeah um, man they're so cool so using any spare part that i could find so the wheels on that one that staff's holding now they're actually from the um blood bowl halfling kit um, oh nice <laughs> Uh, I've got knife and fork on it. Fair enough. Absolutely. <laughs> loads of <laughs> loads of goblin stuff, loads of chaos stuff, loads of skaven stuff. Anything that I, I keep spares for most things. And yeah, the one that staff's holding now is um got PTG Gobbo on it, riding it merrily. There he is, that guy there. there <laughs> and this it just looks like a hay cart being with a ladder attached to it. Yeah. <laughs> so what was like the concept? Because you, you obviously from start from scratch, how how do you go about doing that for a, a load of models? So, I really like the wolf chariot unit, and I think most goblin armies should have a wolf chariot unit. So, and PTG goblin, uh, sorry, PTG Hyper G didn't have one. So, we decided. Well, I decided anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> don't, don't put me. Yeah, into this, this was this was a. It surprise. was a fantastic decision. Exactly. I have to say, but I had nothing to do with the decisions. So. I decided that I wanted to try something different, and the future project that I want to do is an entirely Goblin Wolf Chariot army. So this was kind of like a, a test for that, really, to see if I can just make and kit bash chariots out of bits. Yeah, man. And I wanted to present them to Hyper G as like a, a welcome gift for me joining oh, the group. How lucky do I feel? that I decided all those years ago to play Orcs and Goblins uh, in, <laughs> yes. this, in this world. Fate. You missed it out. was fate. Oh, you, I did, yeah. You missed out, Lucky Sixes. I know. Actually, even more so, because I don't think you even had the choice of taking on Orcs and Goblins, because before you were <laughs> even playing, I was playing Orcs and Goblins. Yeah, yeah you introduced so. me to the hobby. You're like, ah, oh, you can be any ab Not Orcs and Goblins, because they're mine. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Well, that was right. because I knew in X amount of years that I was going to be getting <laughs> receiving a gift from PTG Gobbo. <laughs> I, exactly. I, I had the foresight of that, yeah, definitely. So, so I mean, you, you must have... Go on, go on. Okay, I was going to say, looking at these models then, that uh, are nicely twirling on your twirling machine, uh, as I think you called it, um, what what bits are, are what, or from what? So we've got the main beam, for example, going through the centre of the chariot, and also a lot of the woodwork is from the uh, Playclaw Catapult from the Skaven range. Oh, right, cool. um, a lot of the different parts, like the walls of uh, Chaos Warhounds, you've got the um, moons on the front there are all from the um, Goblin kits, so the newer Goblin kits. The crew are mostly made from either Squig Herders, so the new type of Squig Herders, but also again, Skaven Clan Rats or um, Ogre Noblars um, with yeah. new 
goblin heads attached, for example. Um, we've also got green stuff, animal skins rolled up on the top, just to basically look like the goblins have already been raiding. They've got a cart yeah. full, and then they're now on the way home. Yeah, via so smashing into some opponent's army. Exactly, or avoiding them. Yeah. <laughs> or avoiding them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm zoning, I'm zoning. <laughs> <laughs> no way, I don't do zoning. You know that. <laughs> but yeah, no, there are some really, really nice poses in this as well. Mm. I suppose you yeah, get that yeah. from having lots of different uh, uh, different models and different kits, right? Yeah, trying to use different kits just to try and get, well, rather nine goblins on the three chariots and having only a couple of poses with just a standard goblin kit using different models using different things like clan rats using the other noblars just to try and make them different they certainly yeah. are you, you can tell the amount of enjoyment you had putting these together you know <laughs> i mean there's the, i know from painting badly that i i'm very much a yeah that'll do and I'm done. But I mean, there's so much stuff on these things that you've just literally thought, nope, I need more. I need more. Yep. I'm going to put another bit on there and another bit on there. Yeah. I mean, how, how many colours have you even got going here? Because I mean, these aren't just your average. Oh, blimey. Um, um, easily 30. Um, going through, building up all the shades, all the washes, highlights, and just trying to add spot colours. So we've got a lot of blues, reds, browns, some yellows as well. Um, yeah. But also, again, the non-metallics, we've used the greys all the way through to white. And the browns, there's four shades of brown on there. Jeez. Oh, yeah. I didn't know there were four shades of brown. <laughs> You've got children. Yeah. <laughs> Fair point. Fair point. Fair point. Oh, you got me there. No. Yep. No, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So, uh, how... How hard would you say it is to kit bash something like this from scratch uh, for yourself? I think, I, th I think anyone can do it. And I think it's just having a, a goal in mind, but also having the availability of the parts. Mm. Um, so if you're happy to cut models up, <laughs> I think mm. you'll be okay. If you're a little bit wary about that, it's probably not for you. Sure, yeah. <laughs> probably get someone else to do it for you. But um, I, I quite you, like... right? Yeah. Well, yeah, that uh, is true. <laughs> A friendly neighbourhood gobbo. Yeah, to help that's you. it, man. Um, <laughs> but I like creating things out of nothing. So again, I'm, I'm quite a frugal person in life, and I like recycling, reusing parts, reusing things, and almost like a goblin in real life, really. But <laughs> trying to create something that's different. Yeah, man. And these are certainly. Well, these are so different. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Well, I'm looking forward to getting them to my army. Um, like like uh, Gobbo said originally, I don't have this unit in my army. And um, from now on, every single Orcs and Goblins army that I take will involve these. Um, so very much looking forward to, to that. And you can see them in our battle reports to come when I take them off the table in death. <laughs> <laughs> be, positive. be positive when they win MVP because you've used them so well. Mm. It's all about positivity. Yeah. Exactly. When you yeah. use your zoning manoeuvre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about that. They are movement nine, so I've got that in my favour. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the lucky sixes, that is literally a, a, a vanguard charge, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, movement nine is a minimum requirement <laughs> as well. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, cool. Um, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel, like this video, get the comments going. I wanted to mention as well that um, the video that preceded this discussion was the unboxing video of me getting these chariots. If you wanted to be a part of the unboxing world on PTG Colway, then get yourself a commission with him and we are more than happy to have a unboxing video of PTG Gobbo's work with you opening it up and get on the channel. You can yeah, be made famous. Yeah. <laughs> As um, always, all the all the links and stuff. Oh, go on. It could be anything. It could be a complete kit bash. It could be if you want a character model done, some terrain, anything at all. We're, we're more than happy to try anything. Yeah, yeah, man. Awesome. Yeah, but as I said, all the all the links and stuff are in the descriptions. Um, hit us up on all the different social medias and channels and the forum. Um, what's your forum name? Gobbo? The Goblin's Grotto. 
the Goblin's Grotto. Um, so we are going to get so we came up through that um, there's loads of ways to get in contact with us as well as the comments on the YouTube video direct um, but yeah if you like this sort of thing good hope you're enjoying lot, all the videos more yeah. to come yeah. Yeah. yeah we are really hitting hitting the ground running with this stuff yeah man what a few weeks we were, we were having eh? yeah it's, it's amazing hope you're enjoying it guys and we'll <laughs> see you for more videos to come See you later. Bye.